Hey, I am JJ, and I'm just going to run through our new tool, Explain It. All right, we're just going to hop right into it because I'm not one to save dessert for after dinner. All right. So uh, here is the demo of our tool. Super, super easy. Super, super cool. Um, what it is, is a basically tool that you can explain something to a viewer without having to hop on a call. That's, that's what it was all for. Boom. You can like hover over things, you can exit out of things, you can have it automatically close. So after six or so seconds, boom, it closes for you. You can have ones where you have to click. So I'm gonna click on this right now. I know you can't see my cursor, figuring that out right now. And boom, you have all that. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how this sort of works. And if you want to just skip this, uh, I guess, example, just head over to the website under custom visualization, somewhere on the top of the menu, you should be able to grab yourself a copy of this manifest path. So this is not a how to manifest path situation. This is a how to, how to data studio explain it tutorial. So we're gonna hop into it. Here we have our blankety blank blank report. I know, I had to bleep it out, sorry. Uh, with our Google, um, what's it called? Demo account situation. Doesn't matter, we're gonna delete that, no one cares. So. Um, once you have added the manifest path right here in the community visualization, community visualizations remix, uh, you have the explain it tool, right? Grab that, pop it up. There'll be nothing, right? It's gonna be blank because we don't want you to accidentally add something that you didn't mean to add. So all you got to do is you can add in any dimension you'd like to at all, um, and it will just show up, right? So by default, it'll have this like error for the sort, um, but don't worry about that, doesn't matter because data doesn't, we're not referencing data at all um, to this tool. By, de by default, uh, it'll be the demo version, you click on it and it will show up all this cool stuff. So running through the style tab, which is the cool and sexy part of the situation, starting at the top, we have the ability to configure any um, different font family that we have listed here. I believe these are like the defaults that you have at Data Studio. There's other ways to add custom fonts. We kept it simple. Um, because everyone wants a uh, quick stand. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a font here that'll work for you. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a font snob, so um, we just kept it with these few. We then have the ability to go top right and top left. I know, just mind blowing customization, but we're trying to keep it simple, right? We're trying to keep it actionable, keep it simple. Um, so here, then by default, it's going to be the slide. That's kind of what we like. Thought it would be cool because hey, it's that. But you can also have it be fast, so it'll just boom, show up, boom, 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 boom. Or you can have it be a fade so it looks more gentle where you can show up your show off your information, right? Um, that's that. So we have this slider button. So there's kind of two different pieces that we like to call it. There's the open state, which is this, right, when it's open. And then there's the closed state, which is this when it's like the icon situation. So well, you'll see that those used as far as closed state and open state, that's what they're referring to in case there was any confusion whatsoever. So um, hopping into this, um, you can type in text here. So if you wanted to say like uh, my click here, boss, right? Uh, you can then see that, boom, now we got instructions. It does support emojis for all of my emoji loving comrades. I'm, I'm with you, I'm a big emoji fan. On Mac, if you don't know how to access it, command control space, you probably can't see it because I'm not sharing this, but that is how you access it. And then you can drop in a little emoji there um, and you can put those in there. So hopefully that makes some, some little bit of sense. I know I skipped a lot of steps, but you know, we're, we're pros here, right? We're VIPs. <laughs> Um, say you wanted to like just scrap this whole tech situation. You're like, mm, never mind. Uh, you can just hit this little button right here, and now we are rocking and rolling with one of these icons, right? You can have bookmarks, you can have info, you can have what a whole bunch of different options right here, um, and you can then have that be your trigger like that, right? Next thing we got the font size, so you can see it here. If you want to make it small, you want to make it big, doesn't matter. You can just drag and drop, uh, not drag and drop push one of these little buttons, or you can type in something you like. I, like, I need 37. I don't think we support points, but let's try. Oh, it does. So you can even put in points if you're really pixel perfect, but uh, you're probably not a designer because you're in Data Studio. So that is how we got it. Um, the closed state text. So again, going over here, closed state text is gonna be the text that if you're not using this, you can then change this, closed state, right? Making sense here. Um, 
So that hopefully makes some sense to you. Uh, we then have the border radius. So this is, if you wanna make it look more like a button, say we wanna put like, I don't know, 20, boom, looks like a button. And you could put here like, push me, because I'm close to the edge, right? Because we are all fans of rap music, right? Um, so here you can push that, you can make it look like a button if you'd like to. And the cool part is you can actually customize this X part as well. Say you wanted to have that look more buttony, uh, you can put that in and put that as 20 as well. And now you've got little circular X's and um, O's, <laughs> whatever they're called. Um, so yeah, that's how that looks. We then have this, the option to add, make this header content center, we can put it right. So now it would be aligned right over here next to a little button. Looks kind of cool in my personal opinion, but hey, uh, to each their own. I'm, I'm assuming most people will probably just leave it center, right? Um, so that you can be like, hey, here's the header. Uh, there you go. Next, we've got the uh, body content. So here, this is where you can put all of your explanations. X, I can't spell. Um, so here you can see that we've got the content header and we've got the HTML here. So by default, uh, most HTML situations work, right? So you can put in here H2, if you know how to use HTML, H2, boom. And now it looks big because it's the H2. Then you can put in a break, BR, and you can put, put more info below, right? So. Now we are kind of stylizing it to look more, but you don't even have to do that, right? Um, so that's that's an option, right? And then over here under our advanced CSS helpers, this is honestly 80% of what you're gonna use. So um, don't feel bad if you don't know what you're doing because I frankly don't either, right? So we're all here together. Um, we then grouped all the different little fonts um, I don't know the fonts, all the different colors together. So if you wanted to, you can make this white and then make the thing black and then make this black. And I think I got them all right. And now it looks like a header, like it's kind of a secret button, right? <laughs> Where you're not like actually uh, making it like a button, but it's a header that you then have extra info. So that is when we do that. We have automatic close. I believe it's right now set to six seconds. So. That might be long for some people, might be short for others, but six seconds is where we're at. Um, we have the icon, uh, if you wanna use that. We then have the open state shadow, which is pretty neat if I don't say so myself. So you can add in shadow to the background, like boom, looks pretty sexy in my personal opinion. Um, and so then you can have this be over another chart and then separation between foreground and background. Like, look at that, who wouldn't want your, beautiful dashboard, right? Um, so that is the gist of it. Then at the very bottom, we have the radius, right? So if you wanted to add a little little pizzazz to the radius of the background, you can do so here. Um, I think we can go up to 100 and make it like a roundy. Let me just, yeah, you can go up to, wow. I didn't even realize we could go that high. Oh snap, look at us. You can make a little round portal. Hey. That's pretty sweet. You never know when you need a good portal that doesn't match the text in the background. So obviously some limitations here, but I'd say probably most people are gonna keep it to 10, right? So you have little rounded edges to match your aesthetic. Then there's custom CSS for everybody out there. I am by no means a CSS guru, but you can add things like if you wanted to change the H2 font size, you can do so something like this. I hope I don't mess up because let's just say we want to make it 12 px let's see did i do it right probably not oh well don't add a dot there someone who knows css help well basically you can add different uh all of your custom css needs oh is it because i did that all right well wait let me just try color maybe i did mess up Haha, 
there we see it totally worked. Probably had to add important. So you can customize things to your liking if you'd like to like kind of make global um, pieces. It only affects each individual explain it tool. So you can say, for example, make H2 red on this one and purple on the other one without having any fancy dancy uh, like pieces. You won't have to customize any of these default element, not element or <laughs> default uh, data studio pieces because they don't affect anything. So that is the overview guys. So I've got a whole bunch of demos over here. You can go through all of this and see our examples of headings and et cetera. I hope it at least makes some semblance of a sense. This is just a quick overview of everything you're about to get by filling out a form on the website. So that's the hook. Um, all right, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to fill out the form and then hit reply and I'll respond probably eventually. Um, I usually respond within, I guess, 48 hours is kind of the situation for Data Studio VIP. Um, if you have a, a use case outside of these, please send it to me and I can update the docs and add in your custom CSS and HTML that makes it look chef's kiss or whatever the name of the, the saying is that kids say nowadays. <laughs> All right. Have a good evening, everybody. And I will talk to you next time.